Hi Aurea, Shraps here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we went to the Pool of Tears and collected some artifacts. And today, we are going to be doing a quest for Anchorite Avun. Good fortune. Greetings, I am Anchorite Avun of the Draenei. I am here studying the Lost Ones of the Foul Sanctuary in hope of being able to find a cure for their condition. That Blood Elf Witch, Cersei Dark Dust Singer, has been cursing the Lost Ones. I just know it. I don't know why or how, but the results are tragic. Several of the Lost Ones have now been further corrupted, cursed with even more fell energies. Shaman, can you find it in you to take pity on those poor creatures? They should not have to live out the rest of their lives in such horrible condition. You'll find these cursed Lost Ones at the Balo Sanctuary, east down the path. Okay, so we have to slay three cursed lost ones. Do not lose faith. And this seems to be a quest that was added in TBC, so that's kind of cool, actually. It's one thing I liked about TBC. Even in the old zones, they added a, a blood elf or drain eye, you know, element to, them, to it. Okay, so what the heck? Jaycor just hunted me down. Got me right off my mount. But yeah, that uh, artifact quest was a uh, was an interesting one, I must say. It was pretty damn tough finding those artifacts. They're pretty they're small, hard to see, but we got it done. I'm also going to be on the hunt for uh, for some other lost ones that patrol around this area because they supposedly drop a quest. So we're going to be on the lookout for that. Also, Zulamon is coming out, guys. It's a big update for TBC. It's coming out March 24th. I believe that's on a Thursday. Which is interesting. I don't know why they keep releasing new raids on a Thursday, but it seems to be a new thing that they that they're doing. And it's a great time to uh, give TBC a try if you're thinking about playing the game because there's a lot of catch-up mechanics now with Solomon. There's more gear. You can also get badges in raids now. So in Karazhan. Server Shrine Cavern, Tempest Keep. You can get badges. Which, in return, give you gear. So that's pretty damn cool. And I have a couple of, uh, guildies. Right now, leveling up characters. In preparation for this. So they can have, uh, an alt. It's also a great time for alts. Oh, look who it is. I think this is who we're hunting down. Is that him? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's get to work. Norboro the Cudgel. Puts down this poison cloud. Here we got him. We're gonna get him, yeah. Gonna make sure he doesn't run away. Okay, let's get rid of these little guys. Oh, we got a gator on us. It's time to use Gift of the Naru if we can get it off. The health pot as well. It's getting kind of rough over here. I guess we'll go with the, the Muck Trout or, or the Crocodile. We'll go with the Crocodile. We'll let our... It's funny how the, our Searing Totem was on the Crocodile and then decided to switch. Alright, we could be in a little trouble here. We're out of mana. But we sh should be alright. Keep getting these flurry procs. We did it. Nice. And this is the guy we were looking for. Naboru's cudgel. Alright, so that's interesting. 
we have Naboru's cudgel. The, supposedly that's this item begins a quest. Okay, so this is grave to us. That's too bad. Naboru has plagued the Draenei of the Harborage for months, and his cudgel is a symbol of the brutality they have suffered at the hands of the Lost Ones. Alright, so we have to bring this to the leader at the Harborage. Swapasaurus. We will do that. All right, so have a drink, and then we'll head over to the Follow Sanctuary. We'll see what's going on over there. Yeah, back to Zolomon. It's coming out soon. Looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to try to get my... Uh, well, I'm going to try to get the... The Amani Bear. Amani War Bear, I think it's called. And you get that through a timed run. So if you beat Suleiman and kill all the bosses in a certain amount of time, you actually get more loot and also a chance at getting the, the Amani Bear Mount. And I'm going to try to get that on my Rogue and my Druid. We'll try, probably try to get a video up of me getting it on my Druid if it ever happens. Usually it just gets rolled out at the end, so... But we'll get some, uh, some content going, that's for sure. Zulamon. I haven't done that dungeon since Cataclysm, which is a long time ago, and I, I assume it's much different in TBC, but we'll see how it is. There's actually some pretty damn good loot in there. Nice trinkets, nice rings. And I have a feeling we will be gearing up some people's alts in that raid. Flake is actually pretty damn geared now. He's got a uh, full T5. Almost full T5. Just been bringing him to, uh, to off raids when I get the chance. Picking up any gear that I can get. Yo, are you a heal? No. Yes. So looks like we have somebody that might actually bring us out for uh, for Maradon. I hope. Trying to get in that dungeon for a long time. This guy. Right, I think this may be uh, our last day. Last day here into Swamp of Soros. And I hope we get into uh, a dungeon. We should get invited to an, al an Alderman eventually, I think. We're a high level for it, so we would completely wreck it. All right, so we need to find one cur more curse loss one. And there he is right there. Sometimes I wish I played Ellie because then I could say, yeah, I can heal. Then you can, pre you can pretty much heal as an Ellie. Your gear, most of your gear has stam in it. I mean, intellect and spirit, so. But I think, like, out here solo farming enhances, is more fun, in my opinion. Especially since we got dual wields. Play cloud coming. All right, well, I guess he had enough of me. Probably found a healer, I assume. It's been a struggle on Squidly Diddly getting these dungeons, man. Real struggle. Alright, 
right, so let's heal up, and then we'll deliver these quests. It's two, uh, two quests right there, and that should be it. And that will be the end of our adventures in... in the Swamp of Soros for now. I think we'll probably just head back to Stranglethorn Vale and continue questing there, because why not? Let's fight one of these dragon kin here. Yeah, we'll do it. Wish we got a quest to kill the dragon kin. And maybe I'll send, uh, send Traven into the Swamp of Sorrows and we'll see what the difference is between the Horde and the Alliance in these zones. Weed. 235, wow. Goes to show you how oh, we can gather this. That's good. We're at 153. Man, we gotta really uh, pick it up here. We'd be at 200, I think. Kind of falling behind. I know we can't even loot Cadgar's whiskers, and that's kind of a shame. May have another one of those. I think that's why we'll go back to S Stranglethorn Vale too. We can actually try to farm some King's Bloods and hopefully get closer to to uh, Herbalism 200. And I think we have uh, water breathing, don't we? So we do have a quest where we have to go down in the water. Yeah, we just need fish, shiny fish scales. And this one we need fish oil, water walk. We should be saving our fish oil. I'm gonna buy some of that next time we head over to to a town. Maybe we'll do that now. Greetings, I, oh yeah, we tried that. Mercy to the cursed. It is done, then. I thank you for showing your compassion. Once corrupted by whatever Cersei was feeding them, there is nothing else that could be done. They are now at peace, and hopefully my studies of the others will bear fruit so that they can be rehabilitated. Good health, long life. We survive. Oh, Drandithus crystals. Looks like we got another quest here. The lost ones who live in the Follow Sanctuary look as we look, but they are monsters driven mad by the breakers of our journey to Azeroth. Once our brethren, they now live in the Follow Sanctuary to the east, catching or killing any who wander near. And they have stolen something sacred to us, Tyranithus crystals. We lack the force to enter the Follow Sanctuary to proclaim our stolen Tyranithus from among their huts and campfires, but without those crystals, we may lose our way. Roma. Okay. Greetings and welcome to the Harborage. You have gained the weapon of the dreaded Naboru. Is he then dead? This is a joyous day for the Harborage. Naboru and his gang were a terror to us, wandering the swamps and killing any Draena who crossed, crossed his path. He was a direct threat to our survival and we did not have the strength to face him. We are fortunate to have a friend in you, Squidly Dibble. So long. All right, so we got a couple of quests done. Tyranithus Crystal's quest is gray, so we won't be doing that. And uh, we'll probably be heading over to Stormwind. And we'll make our way out of here. I think the closest or the best um, flight path we can find is probably in Duskwood. 
So yeah, we'll head over to Dar Duskwood and go to Darkshire. And then we'll fly over to Stormwind. And we will prep. And get some, uh... Some fish oil and some scales. So we can do a little bit of pearl diving. She can knock us off her mount. Also, New Worlds came out with uh, coming out with some updates or the an update plan they have for spring, the summer, and the fall. And supposedly they're coming out with three v three arenas soon. And also a group finder. Also coming out with a couple new classes, which are our weapons, a couple new weapons. I'm happy that they're getting PvP going. I wonder if that'll bring some players back to the game. The group finder's needed, I'll tell you that much. Like, You need actually to... Uh, to find groups to actually finish the story. So you actually need to like form dungeon groups. And I'm having so much trouble with that. So hopefully um, that comes out soon. I have a feeling by the time I get to 60, it will probably be not in the game. So right now I'm like level 44, I believe. So I'm, I'm guessing we got like another month or two left. We got at least four months of squiggly diddly, I think. It's gonna take a while to get this guy level 70. As long as we get it get him level 70 before Wrath of the Lich King comes out, that's all that matters to me. That's that's the goal. Same with Travadin. Same goal. Just get to level 70 before Wrath of the Lich King. And then we get to experience the story from a Drain Eye and Blood Elf side. Which I think is kind of cool because TBC is the introduction of Blood Elves and Drain Eyes. And I've actually never experienced Outland as an Alliance player. Alright, so here we are. Kind of walked past the light guy. So let's head up here. Well met. And we'll take a little flight over See to Stormwind. And we need to buy. We'll look into this again. Cause what we'll be purchasing. Bags aren't looking too bad either. I've been holding on to this for a while. Got a couple BOEs. Put all the junk here, I guess. It's a lot of troll sweat. So we'll put the junk here. It's a lot more room in this bag. Should start eating that barbecued buzzard wings. Sweet nectar. It's junk, pretty much. BOEs we'll put here. Looks like this is a... Uh, Still have snowballs. Still have Thermoplug's left arm. Probably sell that. Tasty lion steak. Got a lot of food buffs that I didn't know about. Soothing turtle bisque. Our bags are actually doing alright. Clearly need some water. We only got 13 water. But we will be level 45 soon. Which means we'll be able to upgrade our water. We need to buy some shiny fish scales and some fish oil. So let's go do that.
can just teleport to the Exodar. Alright, let's head into the auction house here. We'll do some business. Yeah, of the owl, we gotta get rid of that. Alright, Conjurer's Beat Reaches. Which ones do we have? Intellect Spirit. That's not bad, actually. It's sad how cheap these sell for. Like, one gold? Okay, let's throw it up there. Um, Scorching Wand. Oh, these are really cheap, man. Sometimes wonder how, like, this server's doing. I haven't checked in a long time. There we go. Got a cape here. Let's see how this is going. Okay, good. We'll put this up for five gold. See if we can sell it. And then we have another back. Put this up for three gold. And th that should be good with that. Got a jungle remedy. For poisons. I guess we'll hold on to that. Not sure if we'll ever use it, but... If we ever get poisoned, it'd be a good thing to hold on to. Looking for something specific? Yep, we're looking for some mana. I think that's enough. To get us through... This level. And now we'll sell this junk. Get rid of the solid stone, too. Oh, we forgot to sell it. It's funny, this wand sells for 52 silver. Probably should have just fendered it. <laughs> I think we're selling it for like 70. Alright, so that's it. Got a bolt of woolen cloth. I guess we'll get rid of that, too. How's Light everything person. else looking? Our first aid. We actually have to go upgrade this. We'll do that eventually. Alchemy is kind of low. It's because our herbalism's been low. Yeah, our first aid's going to be max pretty soon. Alright, so let's uh, hearth back to Booty Bay. Actually, no. I almost forgot the most important part. And that's buying these uh, this fish oil and the scales. Try to get like a tw couple 20 stacks. Four silver per unit. These sell for pretty cheap. Let's buy a bunch of cheap ones. And I've been vendoring these. And now I'm going to be holding on to them. We want around like 20. I think that's good enough. And I think that's for water walking. And then we want shiny fish scales. Shiny fish. Now oh, these are really cheap. I wonder if I can get a 20 sack for 20 silver. 29 silver for a 20 stack. 8 for 11. It's not bad. That's pretty good. 8 for 11 is not bad. We'll get that. 6 for 9. It's not bad either. And then we'll buy these three. Actually, that's kind of expensive. We'll buy these two. I think that should be enough. These aren't bad. 11 for 17. 16. 16 for 23 is not bad either. She know it's she just bought 20 for 29 for 149 each yeah we'll buy that 20 stack we'll be using it a lot anyways so now we can use water walking and water breathing
Gotta watch out what we open here. Got a lot of junk from the... Oh, there we go. We sold our... She made some sales. Alright, so that's it. We are now prepared to uh, go underwater and not have to come back up again. It's pretty good. Alright guys, well, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, I think we are going to be doing some pearl diving. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.